Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're going to play The, the Butterfly, Butterfly Garden. Garden. All right, so Butterfly Garden is uh, developed by Dr. Finn's Games by Steve Finn himself. Um, it is a matching game for two to six players and plays in about 20 to 40 minutes. Yeah, I'd more say. or less. So, really quick, really easy. Um, I guess right. let's go to the table. Let's go to the table, I'll show you. All right, welcome to the table. So, what you see is the Butterfly Garden set up for two players and basically it's a very simple setup you take your butterfly deck i guess you can call it and what we're going to do is we're going to create what is called the field mm -hmm. butterfly field uh, we each have a jar which is where we'll be collecting our butterflies and up here we have um, sort of our victory point deck that we're going to use to determine uh, what types of goals we're going to get so they're like they're called delivery cards. So in a two-player setup, we're going to turn up two goals, one for each of us, mm. and also flip up the one in the center. So the one in the center is not readily available. It's like on deck. It is on deck. So that's what's coming up. But literally. for right now, these are two. It is literally <laughs> on deck. Yes. So these are what are actually available uh, for us to collect now. And just to go over real quick what these victory uh, what these victory point cards or what these delivery cards represent, uh, they show you different butterflies that are required and how many victory points each card is worth. So um, obviously if you have a, a butterfly of those matching colors, you can trade them in for this victory point. But you'll notice that there are a lot of these black colored butterflies that have question marks on them. And what those are is essentially wild. So any any color butterfly can be used to fulfill that need. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is simply four of the same color butterfly, so four of a kind, um, which really is just us trying to either collect sets or match what the cards are representing. The, to win the game, it's very straightforward. The first person in a two-player game to reach 50 points mm -hmm. wins. So what do we do? So we've got the deck, it's shuffled. So this is the butterfly deck. So we're each going to start by getting three cards. And with these three cards, we're going to determine which card we'd like to play first. And the way this game uh, flows is basically we'll each put one of these cards face down and at the same time we'll reveal them and the player with the lowest number is actually the first player. And that player gets to um, take a butterfly and put it in your hand and that's going to be from the field uh, and they can perform a special action uh, if there was one on the butterfly you played. And then you'll add a butterfly, add the butterfly card uh, that you played to your jar. So you never add a, a butterfly typically from the field to your jar. It'll be the card you played and a butterfly from the field will go into your hand. Mm -hmm. So with two players, or with I guess the way the rules goes, you flip up as many butterfly cards into the field as there are players. So for a two player game, we'll have two butterflies available. So right now Francis and I are going to select which card we'd like to play first. And that will be the first person who gets to choose from the field uh, and then put whatever card they played in their jar. Hmm. Again, the lowest number that's up here in the left-hand corner of the cards is going to determine who the first player is to act this turn. So, simple enough, I'm going to play this card. Okay. And now we reveal. Ooh. So the 33 goes first. Hey. So these, this goes, well, what? First things first, um, because that one has an action on yeah, it. Yeah, it does. That means. <laughs> so um, the first thing you do is you take a butterfly from the field and that goes into your hand. Okay. Oh, okay. I will take this one. Okay. Okay. All right, so that goes in your hand. And now you actually jar mm -hmm. that butterfly, but you would take the special action first. Right. Um, so, so that one is here. I get to draw a card add it to my hand, and then return a card to the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to draw this guy, and I'll kind of look at it, and I'll look at the rest of my cards and stuff, and then I'll pick one to return to the bottom of the deck. Okay. Right. Action complete. Action complete. Now you jar that butterfly. Jar that butterfly. So we do that just by sliding this in there, and then um, they'll kind of uh, slide under, you know, one underneath each other, kind of splayed. And we'll right. know kind of what butterflies so we have. So why don't you explain okay. what type of butterfly that is? All right, great. I'll take them out of my jar real quick. <laughs> so this is um, Anthony just talked about kind of these the black uh, question mark butterflies, which are essentially wild. 
these are sort of the, I guess, like a reverse wild well, in a way. The rainbow they're called rainbow butterflies. And when you're when you're trying to fill these butterfly orders, right? If it has a rainbow butterfly on it, only a rainbow butterfly can fill that rainbow butterfly slot on the order. But um, you can use this as a wild to get any one of these butterflies. So if I needed this yellow and I didn't have a yellow, I could use this rainbow butterfly in place of that yellow. Does that make sense? Makes sense right. to me. Cool. So we'll draw that guy. He's pretty cool. Either that or you're cheating me. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. Now I get to play my, my card. So the first thing I do is I take this card in my hand. So regardless, going second, you get essentially get stuck with whatever cards left out yes. there. Uh, and I would normally draw this card, but this is a special, mm -hmm. special butterfly. He has like a peacock. It almost looks like a peacock. But uh, with these, they are worth straight up victory points. Mm. So they go right into my victory point side of my card. So I've drawn first blood. Very All nice. Right? And then we will refresh the field. <laughs> oh, the number one butterfly. That's awesome. All right, so then we will continue. So we're obviously trying to get yeah. something mm -hmm. to match what's up there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play that one. And I'll play this one. Let me reveal. Why do you oh. keep going first? <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing high cards. You're looking at my hand, aren't you? I'm not. <laughs> All right, so, All right, so I'll take the Ziggling card. Okay. I'll put that in my hand. And this doesn't have any special effects on it, so he's just going to jar right there. All right, I'll take the number one butterfly. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get to go first one of these turns. <laughs> and I get this special ability, which is put a card from hand into the jar and then I put a card from the jar into my hand. Mm. That would be silly because I don't have anything in my jar so I would just put a butterfly in the jar and then take it right back. Yeah. So I'm not going to bother doing That's that. Silly. So he's just going to get jarred. Mm. So I have a rainbow butterfly. Simple enough. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> oh, wow. Just, oh yeah, they're a little different though. All right. Okay. You were, that was very um, assertive of you. <laughs> They're the same exact, almost the same exact butterfly offering here. It is truly. Slightly different. All right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. Yay. So I'm going to take this into my okay. hand and I'm going to bury this one. He doesn't All have right. any special abilities. Okay. And I'll take this one, obviously. And I will bury this guy. Um. Alright, still don't have enough to do anything. Alright, and after you bury the um, the butterfly, you can make a delivery. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot. We haven't been able to do that yet. Well, we might have well, been able to do that. Yeah, we, we just did. haven't chosen to do that. Yes. Alright, I'm going to play this one. Okay. And. Um, I'm going to play that guy. All right. Yes. <laughs> okay, good job. Yes. All right. <laughs> I'll take so this one. Uh -huh. I'm going to bury this one, and I think okay. I'm going to fill an order. All right, good. So Just let's... Suck. suck. Yes, they do. They do. <laughs> They're not so good. All right, so I'm going to fill the eight. Uh, of course you are. And I basically need a yellow mm -hmm. and a green yep. and three of any color. Mm -hmm. So that's all of my butterflies. I didn't okay. have to spend them all, but I'm going yeah. to. So these are going to go into a discard pile. Yeah. And I'm going to claim the eight. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. what's that? Yeah. You want to explain? So now that? let me explain how this works <laughs> in a two player game. So it's a little bit of a wonky rule, but I, I guess it kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. But, but at, before any of these are claimed, Either of us could choose either of them. Now, I went first. I took the, the butterfly offer order on her side. And by doing that, if there's only one order left and it's not on your side, you can't take the order that right. time. So, Francis, even if she could fill the 10, I she can't, can't take yeah. it. That's the way the two player rules work. And at the end of the round, the five will come out and we'll reveal a new one, and then we both have equal shots. So, that's one benefit of going first is yeah. you can kind of block the other player. Right. So I always will take from that side. <laughs> from the first You're so bad. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'll take this one. 
And that goes. Oh, you have, oh I do have a special, special ability special. too. So I get to take this. Yep. Do right. That same old. Into my hand. Move. Yeah. And then I get to put one at the bottom of my at the bottom of the deck. Excellent. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's put two more out. Okay. And let's move on. And we'll move this guy over there. Yes. That. What do we have? Nine points. <clears throat> All, All right. right. Fair enough. Ooh, this mm. is tough. All right. I want to play this yeah. one. And I'll put that one. You ready? Yep. Yes. Are you so excited? Alright, I'm going to bury the... Oh, actually, no, I have to take the card first. I'm going to take that one. That works for me. I'm going to bury this guy. Okay. And I'm going to fill the order with number five. <gasps> Are you serious? Why not? I have two butterflies here. So I've got the green, and the red can be the wild. So this will go away, and this will go here. Alright, I'm done. Okay. Um, Alright, so it. I'll take this yeah. there. Oh, you squirted it too. I'm sorry, what? I said I didn't realize you scored the, I did. the, yeah. the peacock thing. I did. Yes. Yeah. Three points. Very good. Oh, did you want to? Oh, you can. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Oh, that's a good one. I'm such a mean lepidopterist. I am. All right. Um, all right, let me think about what I want to do here. Hmm. Um, what do I have going on here? Okay. All right. I'll play that one. I'm ready. You ready? Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take... I'm going to take this guy. Okay. And I'll jar this butterfly here. Or this pair of beautiful butterflies. All right. All right, so I'll take this. And I'm going to jar this. Let me see what it is I can do here. Um, so that requires that guy, that guy. Mm -hmm. And I could use that guy, that guy, that guy. Yeah. I'm just thinking if I use my, I'm going to lose like a lot of butterflies if I try to go for the 10. Probably yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's probably more efficient to do the 9. Yeah, so I'm going to do 1, 2, I'll use him for the red him for the one question mark, and I'll use like this green guy. All right. Yes, is the other question mark one. So I'll lose these two, and that one. And that'll be my five. One, two, four, five. Okay. Does that work for you? Yeah. Okay, and I'll fix that up. And I'll take that. All right. Okay. So you're done? Yep. Okay. Now. Flip you. Flip you. Flip you. All right. <laughs> what do I want to bring out now? Oh boy, there's some tough ones out here now. E. All right. <clears throat> I might as well. I'll bring you out, I guess. I'll bring you out. All right. Fifty-two, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's see it. All right, so I'm gonna take the nine, bury these, and I can't fill any water, so. Okay. Um. All right, so I'll take this and bury this guy, and I believe. Let me look at. Let's see what I can do here. I've got. 
this little dude a green and uh, you short one. I'm short one. Yeah. Ah, uh, that sucks. Alright. Alright. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice one. Uh, alright. Put it up there. Alright, you're first. I'm first. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this. Uh huh. And I'll grab this. And now I think I can do that. So I have one, two, three. And I'll use my wild guy yep. for that fourth one. There you go. So. So there we go. Okay. Cool. I'll take you into my hand. And then I will do that. Now, see, she had <clears throat> she had taken the one on the left, so I still could have filled mm -hmm. that order on my turn if I had four because. Yeah. But I did not. Yep. So. Oh, that's interesting. Oh wow! Two and two, two pairs. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we want to do here? I don't know. Okay. I guess I will do. Do that one. Hmm. Thirteen, you go first. Okay. All right, here. All right, I'll take that. <clears throat> and let's see if I can do anything. I need four of a kind. Or Oh, I could fill that, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for big. I think. Yeah, for the three extra points. Why not? Ooh, look at that. All okay. right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What do you got? Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take this one. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to bury this, and now I should have, yeah, so these four will give me one, two, three yellows and a wild. Mm -hmm. Four of a kind. Cool. It's a lot of butterflies to do that. Whoa. <laughs> I think it was worth it. Okay. For me. Alright. So, I'll take this. And it's there. All right, so I think what I'm going to do... Do you want to use one yeah, of Yeah, so <clears throat> at any point in the game, that you have these victory point cards that came with the game, you can cash in victory points. I'll take them out of the game and exchange them for these cards, which basically just keep it neat because you start getting a ton of victory yeah, points. Right. And I think 15 is the lowest denomination mm -hmm. that we can go. So yeah. um, we'll leave it at that. So you're done? Yep. All right. Two pairs up now. Really low Whoa. cards, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Huh. Right. Huh is right. Um. What do you got? 56. 32. I think you're first. All right. So I'll take, um, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I'll take this yellow guy, I guess. All right. Um, and then I'll bury this, but more importantly, I have two pairs. So I have green, green, and yep. yellow, wild. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this guy. Ah. Are. Cool. Cool. All right. I'm gonna take the four, and I will bury this. But now I have thirty points, mm -hmm. so I'm going to just replace that all. Nice. I have like such an odd number of points. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, with the thirty, that okay, makes it nice and tidy. Mm-hmm. Uh, higher, and. 
refill this. And we're closing in here. What do I want? Interesting. Okay. Kay. What do you got? Wow! <laughs> uh, yeah, you really wanted yeah. that card, huh? I did. Alright. Can you fill anything? Okay. Alright, I will take you. And you go in the jar. And I can't do anything either. Cool ball. All right. Okay. What do we want to do here? Oh, okay. Interesting. I will play that. You're so aggressively throwing down your <laughs> Why? I don't know. It just seems it's right. like your net. Like you need a net. You do. Yeah. Who's a net? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, gosh, all right. Boom. All right. I'll take you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to jar him, but I have exactly the butterflies needed. Oh, yeah, exactly one. Cool. That's efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. I know. That's a lot of butterflies that I can't do anything with. Well, actually. You could. No, I can't. Well, no. actually, I could. Hold on, let me see. I've got a green, mm -hmm. a yellow, mm -hmm. a mystery, yeah. a mystery, and a wild. So I can take that one. You Let's sure see. could. Um, actually, I don't need to use my wild. I can use these two guys, right? A mystery and a mystery. They can just be two of anything, right? Mm, you do have to use that while because you don't have that. Oh, time. right. Okay. That's why. Yeah. So this will be one, two, three, four. So just these two. Yep. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. Very good. Okay. Can you catch some of that? Now? Yeah. Well, Actually, I have, you have 30. Hold on. I think I've, well, I have over 30 now. Um, it's 27, 30, and then seven. So. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Whoa. Wow, we're tied. So are you surprised? No. <laughs> okay. I'm not. Okay. All right. So it's coming down, <clears throat> coming down to the wire here. Okay. All right. What do oh. I want to do here? So we need three of a kind up here, or oh, I like that. All right, let's do that. Mm. Ready? Ooh, wow, you played a high card. I did. All right, so I'm going to take this one. Okay. And I'm going to fill. That one? That's exactly what I need. Okay. Wait a minute, so I can't fill that. I have so many words for you right now. <laughs> I feel like you were taking. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Can you feel the love? <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. I can't feel it. What do you mean? Okay. All right. Yeah, so I can't do anything. All right, what do we have? All right. Hmm. Man, let's just play that one. You really want to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually worked out, actually, so I don't have to... Use my wild, so. Okay. Um, all right, let me take this one set at a time. I will take that guy. Okay. And I will like bury him, but I'm gonna use him, so I'm taking him back out. And use to keep my wild butterfly under there. 
and I will get that eight. Thank you very much. Ooh, here you go. Thanks for fifteen. Yep. There you go. So much easier to do it this it way. Is, yeah. The first time we played, we were like. And had all the cards. Yeah, <laughs> like constantly adding. It was terrible. Yeah, so it's not good. I don't know why we didn't use mm -hmm. those before, but we should have. They're so much more helpful. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow, this is getting real, real. Wow, the zero card came out. Oh, zero card. All right. It's like so powerful. It is. In, in some ways. In every way. Mm. Yes. Mm, how do I want to do this? Alright. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Um, I should have just taken a card, but I didn't. Alright, I'll take you. Okay. I'll take that zero card, that's fine. You can have the zero. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Ooh. My turn? I think it's our turn. Our turn? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you looking at me like that? I'm like, not looking at you, I'm like thinking here. Yeah. Because I want to see what I am capable of. What are you capable of? And what I want to play. Alright, I'll play you. Go. Yeah, you're going to play that. <laughs> Strategy. Alright, so I'll take this. Uh huh. So you're one point away. And I'm gonna use this guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and get that. And fill the nine. Wow, so now I can't even finish. Nope. So rude. <laughs> so rude. So we finish the round, which really doesn't matter because you just won. Yeah. That was really close, though. Very close. That always is. It always comes out of the wire. Cool. Let's All go. Right, let's uh, talk about it. Yeah. All right. So there you have it. The butterfly garden. Okay. We did a good job collecting butterflies. I think we did. I think. All right. So All right. Let's, let's talk uh, about it. Let's talk about the game. All right. So what would you consider um, shelf life to be? Uh, shelf life is good. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's replayability. It's, yeah, it's got a, a probably a moderate replayability. Yeah. Know? It's 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 definitely. Um, Definitely something you can go back to because it's you know it's simple in nature. Yeah. So I think. Um, I don't think the game's going to change very much. No. From you know game to game, so. Yeah, the variability um, on it's not. Yeah. Not not there, but it certainly is something you you could play over and over again. So. All right. Um, weight. Light. It's very light. Super light. Yes. So easy. Um, yeah, definitely something that we would you know maybe bring around the kids or. Yeah, anybody can know, play this. I mean, it's play. it's definitely something that could that could be picked up by anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Component quality. You know, amazingly, I, I think the uh, the component quality is is actually kind of high on this game. It's actually very impressive. Very impressive. So uh, normally on on, a, on a, just a card game, you know, you just get your standard deck of mm -hmm. cards and that's it. You know, you don't yeah. expect too much out of it. But the game comes with. Um, little player aids and, and your your butterfly jar and right. they're made out of nice thick cardboard. Yes, you know, so yeah. they're, Not they're even nice. Not a heavy cardstock. It's like no, an it's thick cardboard. cardboard. Yeah, um, and the cards themselves are made with uh, some kind of a. Uh, Definitely some kind of an upgraded material because yeah, they're I very like a linen feel. A linen. Of, they're definitely uh, a linen. Card. They're really nice. Cards. They're really nice. They shuffle very mm -hmm. well. They don't bend, mm -hmm. um, and they're just nice to. I, I don't know. I'm yeah. big about the way cards textures yeah, are, um, and, and card quality. So this is this is what I would expect from a good quality card game. Yeah. Like this is kind of like the bar, I think, and, and it, it certainly met that. Mm -hmm. um, as far as art goes, I thought it was very pretty. The colors yeah. were nice um, and, and very unique. So I, I was happy with quality all around. Yeah, very much so, I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, um, theme. Theme is neat. It's different. You know what it's I mean? Different. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very nice. I thought it was, uh, and it worked. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You're out in the field, you're collecting butterflies. You're catching them. It had some pretty neat little mechanics as far as, you know, take the butterfly from the field, right. 
and then but capture the one in your hand so you've got to sort of you know do some manipulation there to try to right. get the right cards into your hand um, and then again with the turn orders and stuff like that so it was really mm -hmm. good yeah so I thought the theme really worked well and then you know filling orders at, at sort of like the, the butterfly yeah. shop or the garden it's really a garden right. you're, you're filling well, orders for a garden and I think you're technically you're kind of like a lepidopterist so like you're observing the butterflies so i think it's okay. like thematically i think you're supposed to be like searching for these certain ones or something and then putting them in a jar and then put maybe like putting them in a jar okay uh, I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever anyway. that, okay. So, or maybe you're feeling a butterfly. But it worked. I just felt like a butterfly catcher but. catching butterflies in a jar and then putting them in the so garden. Creepy. Yeah. So. Alright. Seems good. Uh, what about fun? It was fun. It actually, it was a fun game. You know, yeah. I, I, normally, you know, I'm not attracted to this theme. Yeah. Because it's very pretty. It's very colorful. Right. It's very, I don't know, gardeny. Um, but I'm finding lately that these sort of games are actually quite they're well. Nice. You know, I mean, I don't know. See, the thing is, I picture you're sitting down for you know 20 minutes, 30 minutes to play a game. You should like the look of it. Yeah. I mean, it should make you feel good, so. Yeah, definitely. It, it's it's definitely, a, you know, a calming game. It's very <laughs> peaceful. It's very pretty to look at. So, yeah. you know, for that aspect, I think that's where it all, you know, the theme kind of ties in with the quality and the art. Like, it all yeah. comes together. So, yeah. it's into a nice little package. Um, all right. Uh, what about the setup? Oh, the setup, is, setup is simple. Like any game of this yeah. nature. Um, with you know, it's essentially you know two decks of cards. Mm -hmm. You know, one for victory points, one for the, yeah. the, the butterflies. It's it's a right. snap. It's, as soon as you take it out of the box, it's pretty much ready. Yeah, a couple shuffles and you're good to go. Right. So. Um, I could easily see you know taking it around, kind of like well for me, like throwing my purse or something. Yeah, and just whipping it out, like you know, yeah, this, a minute or so. This whole game could fit in like a deck a deck box, mm -hmm. and yeah. you'd have one pack, and you could take it pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about the audience? So, who would you take it to? Um, I would take this <laughs> really not not to a gamer for game night. Like this, no, this yeah, wouldn't we're be not our, this, this like our Wednesday night. No, this thing. wouldn't be our, our our normal gaming group yeah. type game. It's, I don't even know if this would fit into our sort of after the heavy euro cool down sort of game yeah, it might be a, a step a too light, too for, light that. for that we don't like to go from heavy to that light but I think if you're sitting with kids and, uh -huh. and people who just want to play cards right yeah. this is something you can whip on the table and they'll they'll be able to pick up on it very quickly and, and probably enjoy it because yeah. it's, it's it's different enough but right. still familiar enough. and there's still some strategy to it sure so i mean you're not completely losing that i mean it's not a basic just matching kind of game sure. so you know there is a little bit a little bit of strategy there still to right. keep it fun. But someone but. who's looking for that deeper yeah, oh, strategy, you're not, gonna, you're not yeah. gonna find that here. Yeah. But that's not necessarily that's a anybody. bad thing because yeah. that's not what this game is about. Yep. It's it's a filler game, so yeah. and it, it is what it is. It fits its mold. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So all that said, what about conclusions? What do you think? Conclusion. I, I thought you know I was pleasantly surprised with this game. Uh -huh. I thought it was very nice. Um, certainly. Uh, something that I would play again with with a young audience with kids, mm -hmm. you know, like somewhere in the eight to ten year old plus range. Yeah, I think they could easily pick up on this game, or, or even adults who don't normally play board games or card games. I think yeah, it, would, it would go over very well with them. So yeah, yeah. So I think yeah, I'd say I'd probably give this one a great because I think mm -hmm. it, it in that category is something that I'd hold on to. Yeah, I was gonna say in that context, that's yeah. certainly a game that you know we would hang on to. Yeah, absolutely. For that purpose. Exactly, because it, it has a place in what we like to keep in our sort right. of overall collective that yeah. we bring out and play with different folks and, and yeah. you know there's certain audiences for certain games that you want to bring out and I think this one certainly fits that mold and we have you know we, we, we tend to like to have certain um, standards for the filler games I think and yeah. this one certainly fits into that mold yeah. and, and that, that works out for us so All right. so I'm very happy with it so cool. um, so that's it you know yeah. I, I think it was quick a very, yeah quick and easy down <laughs> dirty um, uh, definitely uh, a thank you to Dr. Finn's Games for the contribution of the mm -hmm. review copy of the game. Um, certainly appreciate that. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's definitely a great game, so uh, we enjoy it. But that's it. Thanks All for right. watching. Uh, we'll see you at the next video, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. All right. Thanks.